Welcome to the world's saddest empties video. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be the fastest empties video you've ever seen in your life because there is barely anything in my box. You guys, I don't know what's happening with me this year. I just, I'm washing the same amount, I'm using the same amount of makeup, I'm burning the same amount of wax and yet somehow I'm just not going through the same amount of stuff. So, who knows? Who knows what's happening? I am trying to work harder because I did have a goal, not going to fix it, not going to reach it because we're now in October and I just caught myself in the viewfinder. My blush and highlight are insane right now. I'm trying out some new things. Let's just move on from that and do the very short empties video. So on the top I have two of these. These are my cellar cleansing wipes. If you are like OG and you were here before, before I went on my hiatus, then you know that these are my favourite ever face wipes. In fact, they're on special offer in Superdrug right now. So when I was there the other day, they were on like three for two. And normally they're not on offer and they're the most expensive. I say most expensive, they're not that expensive. They're £1.29, but the other wipes are like 99p. So when these go on offer, I kind of go a bit crazy and ended up buying six packs of them. So you'll see these again for sure. I have some sheet masks, which never happens because I never do sheet masks, but apparently I did. Well, these are both the Tony Moly sheet masks. One is skin purifying and one is vitalizing. I have a huge collection of like 50 sheet masks, which I'm working my way through. And then I won't be buying any more sheet masks because this one single use packaging is a waste of packaging and bad on the environment. And not only that, but the mask itself is probably really bad for the environment as well so I'm not buying any more single use masks I'll just buy the potted masks and preferably in a glass or recyclable plastic pot rather than in a tube that you can't recycle oh I also have the collagen under eye masks these ones were crap don't buy these ones, but I have had some before that were really good. For example, the Sephora ones. The Sephora ones are amazing. Always buy those ones. But these ones were rubbish. I would not use these. Plus, they had 30 minutes on and they didn't do anything other than dry out my under eyes. So, I don't know what was that what that was about. But I won't buy these kind again, but I will get the under eye masks again. The Soap and Glory ones are amazing, but they're like £3 per one use. So, that's just ridiculous. But these only come in this kind of packaging, as far as I'm aware. So... I will get this packaging unless I can find others. There are some, who is it? Is it Peter Thomas Roth that does the ones in the pot where you just, and it's just like a pile of them. Somebody tell me which company that is because I'll get it in that form and try it that way because I'd much rather that than this wasteful packaging. Although this one says you can recycle it, so. I have, let's do that last. I have some shaving cream here. I have the Cremo Made in the USA Moisturising can Coconut Mango Shave Cream. This is okay. It says it's supposed to reduce razor burn. I mean, I guess it didn't give me razor burn. I'm not... Razor burn isn't something that I have or ever get. But I do get the ingrown hairs. And I was wondering if it would help with that. Because it says fights nicks, irritation and razor burn. But it didn't do that. So I probably won't get it again. I know that there are quite a few different kinds of shaving creams that you can get in Target. So I will, next time I'm in San Francisco, I'll get a different kind, but I won't get this kind again. I have the Beauty 360 Original Nail Polish Remover from CVS. This was rubbish, but I don't know if it was bad because I literally only ever use the 100% Pure Acetone from Sally Beauty. And because this isn't pure acetone, I don't know if that's, like, I'm used to that. So this turned out to be rubbish for me, so it might work for you. I don't know, but for me, I would never get this again. I mean, I probably would, because when I'm in San Francisco, if I need to take off my nail polish, generally, I go for, like, a, a little tub of the, um, like, slices. But they didn't have any of those, so I had to get this. But at some point, I will be in San Francisco again, and I will need nail polish remover, so. I have the L'Oreal Men Expert Shave Revolution Shave Gel. David doesn't wet shave, so he said I could use this, and I used it on my legs. It was okay, it was actually nicer than the Cremo one made for women, so. But I guess because face skin is more sensitive than body skin, so that one's made for body, this one's made for face, so. But yeah, I wouldn't buy it because it smells like man, 
But if he got another one in a kit that he wasn't going to use, then I would use that up as well. I have some perfume samples. I have the Aqua di Parma Blue Mediterranean. This is a like gender free scent, like you can use it for men and women. It was okay. It, when it first went on, it was kind of like, this is too weird, I need to take it off, I need to shower right now. But then throughout the day as it faded, it actually got nicer, so I wouldn't buy it because that initial weird scent. But I have the Joy by Dior, this was okay. I wouldn't buy it, it's not my first preference if I was going to buy a Dior perfume, but it was really nice, actually, that's really nice. I might buy it, I might consider, if you know, duty free or whatever. Special offers and things. I have some of these. I have two of these, the Body Shop bath bubbles. I have the Moringa and I have the Pink Grapefruit. The Moringa one smells amazing. Somebody, somebody who knows Body Shop, tell me. The Moringa line, the cream, the hand cream, the shower gel, all that, does it smell like this does? Because if it does, then I need everything from that line. Everything. I have Pink Grapefruit bath bubble. This one's also smelled really good, but I preferred the scent of this one. And yeah, they just make, they're like bubble bars from Lush, but yeah, they just made bubbles in my bath. So I got those because I was in the body shop because they sent me a birthday thing, and my birthday was in the summer, and I got five pound credit, store credit for my birthday, so I went there and I bought a few of these. I think it was like seven for six pounds or six for seven pounds or something. These are the Fiance Fragrance Body Sheets. These smell like grapefruit. These were really, really nice. These are some kind of weird Korean... That's not Korean, that's Japanese. They are Japanese, and Erin got these in like a box that she gets from... Uh, which has like K-beauty, um, Japanese beauty, all that kind of stuff in it. I would maybe get these again, or I would use them again if they came to me. I'm not planning on going to Japan anytime soon, so probably won't be buying them, but they were pleasant enough. I have the Molten Brown Orange and Bergamot Body Wash. This was okay. I don't buy Molten Brown just because I think it's overpriced for what it is, so yeah, I probably won't buy, but I'll use. Like, it wasn't unpleasant, so. I have the Bath and Body Works Eucalyptus Spearmint Pocket Bag, and you could tell I was working on this for a while, because literally all the writing's gone away. But this was okay, I enjoyed the scent, and I love these pocket backs, so I would get these again. Why am I out of focus there? There we go. Why is it trying to focus on this thing that's way over here when I'm like... So I would get these again, maybe in this scent, if they still have the scent. When I was last there, I didn't get it because I'd literally just used one up, and I was like, can't deal with that again. I have the Too Faced Hangover RX 3-in-1 setting sprays. I really enjoy this setting spray, I've had a few samples now to the point where I'm actually tempted to get a full size but I have other setting sprays right now and if I did get it I would get the watermelon one because it's just gone on the floor because watermelon is a thing I love watermelon even if it's like artificial watermelon I just I I, watermelon's a thing I have the Waterman's Grow Me shampoo this is my holy grail shampoo I order it online however you can now buy it in boots it's good for like uh, hair loss, whether it's hormonal based hair loss for men and women or chemo for like cancer and stuff. It's been proven on many people that if alopecia, like stress alopecia, anything that causes hair loss, this shampoo is incredible. Like you see all the things and you're like, yeah, that doesn't really work, you know, but it really works. Honestly, as somebody who uses this all the time, it really works. I lose my hair because of my PCOS to the point where I could run my fingers through my hair and literally pull clumps of my hair out and since I started using this shampoo that doesn't happen so and I'm actually getting some volume I mean it's still really really fine but I think I'll always have fine hair because uh, my dad has fine hair my mum has fine hair my brother has fine hair so I'll probably always have fine hair but it's definitely given me some volume and some strength in my hair. I have the Hydrating Water Infusions Apple and Melon Original Source Body Shower Wash thing. This was really good. The scent is amazing. I'm currently working on, there's a pineapple 
pineapple grapefruit one and a rose and strawberry one or something. I'm working on both of those, They're in, one's in the bath, one's in the shower, and I love this line. And I would get it again, but only if it was on offer, because when I bought these, they were on offer down from £3 to £1, so if it was a pound again, then I would get it again. I have some nail polishes here. I have the SE Sample in Tarte Deco. I really enjoyed this nail polish, but by the time I got down to the bottom, I'm like, I'm over this colour, this like coral colour. I need to move on to something else. I have so many new like shiny holographic polishes. I have some new Crelly polishes. I have some new jelly polishes that I wanted to use. I didn't want to just use a coral cream anymore, so I wouldn't replace it anytime soon but it is a nice colour and Essie formula is always great. People always say that Essie is like touch and go, hit and miss but I've never had a bad Essie polish and I don't know if that's because I apply differently or if it's because I've not met the ones that they've had previously but yeah. And I have this tiny little uh, purple nail polish sample which I have no idea where this came from but yes I used it, it's tiny. Uh, it was actually really really nice, it was kind of like a jelly formula but it lasted for ages. OPI lasts as long as this does and this is a teeny tiny like it doesn't even have a brand it doesn't even have a shade it's got the number 12 written on the bottom but I don't know what that means but yes this is a really good nail polish. I have some sponges here that I'm just chucking out because they're old and falling apart this one is like I don't know if you can see that but there's like holes yeah, you can definitely see that. Um, and this one, sorry it's dirty, but it's pretty much doing the same thing. So yeah, so I'm throwing these out because I have plenty of sponges and I don't need to be dealing with sponges that are going to make me look crazy. I have here an empty Steeler kitten case because I took the, like, I took the pan out and I put it in my Z palette so that I can use it up next year. This is very exciting. This is the NYX Mosaic Powder in Plummy, and this is a blush, and it's completely gone. I have been working on this for literally years. Granted, I don't wear a much blush, but it feels like I was never going to finish this, and I finished it. And now I can use different products that, sorry, it just literally just the heavens opened and it started chucking it down and it caught my attention and I'm just like, what is happening outside? Now that it's gone, I can use different products and that feels so good. Like today, you can tell I'm using a different product because I kind of went a bit ham and this wasn't as pigmented as the blush I'm currently using, which is why I look like a crazy person. I have the Volume Million Lashes by L'Oreal. They're not cruelty free, um, but that doesn't bother me. I'm not like specifically going out of my way to pick cruelty free, but however, to those who also don't really care whether something's cruelty free or not, this is an excellent mascara. This is my favorite mascara in the world. This is my Holy Grail mascara. Best put that one there because I have another one on my side. And I have another two in my drawer. So that goes to show actually my favourite mascara, don't mind me while I put all this back. So I'm decluttering this, this is the Benefit Boing Hydrating Concealer. The reason I'm decluttering it is because at first I really enjoyed it, used a ton of it, got it right down to there, and then I stopped using it because I was using something else, and since going back to it, every time I use it, I don't like it. The colour isn't great on me, like it's really orange. You can even see that on the camera, like it's really orange. And this is the lightest one they do, and I just can't deal with it. And it not only does it crease on the under eyes, but because it's a hydrating formula, it never dries down. And it like it will mix in my mascara, and then I'll have black all over my face because it the concealer's moved during the day, and I just can't deal with that. And I need to get this off my hand, sorry. Look. That's not even before the six that I bought the other day. I love these wipes so much. Do you know, I was talking to Erin the other day and I was like, I need to reduce my wipe consumption because surely you want single use wipes is not good for the environment. And she was like, why didn't you just buy micellar water? And I'm like, I don't really like micellar water and I don't really need a full on cleanser to wipe 
swatches off my hands. I have the Second Glory Scrub of Your Life. I really enjoyed this. I liked that it foamed up. That sounds weird, but a lot of scrubs don't foam up and you ha I have issues distributing them like throughout my body. But if it foams up, then I can just like glide it over. So I would get this again. I don't really use a lot of body scrubs, but if I ever needed a body scrub, I'd probably get this one. I have the Avida Rosemary Mo oh my goodness. I have the Avida Rosemary Mint Weightless Conditioner. This was okay, it was just a sample size, it was just like a one use and then it was gone kind of thing. I wouldn't buy this just because I have my Holy Grail conditioner which is the partner of this. So this was just gifted to me. I think Erin gave this to me. Uh, what I did is I made it a feel unique order for her, for her birthday or for random. And I, it was like, pick some samples, so pick some samples, both of which ended up coming back to me. So this was one of those, and yeah, it was okay. I wouldn't buy it, but it was okay. Another thing I'm decluttering is the Dr. Botanicals Moroccan Rose Superfood Facial Oil. It just looks like that. I've never used this, it looks like I have, but it came half full. But this is like at least three years old and I can't be dealing with putting a facial oil on my face that's at least three years old. It kinda smells okay, but I'm never gonna use it and I haven't used it in the three years that I've had it. So, I mean, I, I got two for some reason. I got one in one box and then one in a different box. So I gave one to Erin and she used hers up straight away. And I've kept mine since then. So, yes. And the last thing, I always do wax last. I do have some wax things because, as I said, I've been trying to use things up. So I had the Illuminate Scented Tea Lights by Clinton's. This is the Lavender Fields and Sweet Pea kind. They're okay. I tried putting them in my warmer. Sorry, my camera decided to shut off for 20 minutes. These work okay, but not they're not as good in the warmer as they are just burning as a candle. So I will forever just burn them as candles from now on, I think. Um, I Now that Halloween and Christmas are coming up, I do burn a lot more candles. Tea lights, I have them scattered around. So rather than just wax melting, which I do throughout the year. So I will probably get more of these out of my collection. I have, the, because these are like, I think they were four for a pound when they're a pound each. So I kind of went a bit ham. And the rest, I have like five or six of these Yankee Candle votive things. I have Spiced Winter Berries. That one didn't really smell of anything. I have Blueberry Cheesecake, which is really, really nice. I have Glad Tidings, which didn't really smell of anything. Where's my cap? Okay. I'm sorry if I'm going in and out of focus. It's probably really annoying to you, but I have vanilla cream sundae, that was really nice. Um, they're so sticky. Because of the stickers on the bottom, they get stuck. Yeah. I have Christmas Wishes, which was also really nice. That one kind of smells like pepperminty aftershave, it was really good. And sparkling cinnamon spice. And if you like cinnamon, like not sweet cinnamon, just straight up cinnamon, this is a really, really good candle. It has an amazing throw. And even in the votive, from across the room, it was just great. It smells amazing. But yeah, but only if you really like cinnamon. If you don't like cinnamon, you're not gonna like this. And that's everything in my box, my crate. See, my, it's now empty. So, even though I said it was gonna be short, it actually took longer than the 20 minutes that the camera decides to film for. So, by the time I edit it, I don't know how long it will be, but hopefully it was okay. I will edit everything up, and where I can, like, stuff like this. I have no idea how much this is ever going to cost. I'm probably not going to find a price for this because this blush, as far as I'm aware, doesn't exist anymore, but I'll probably find something like comparable, like a NYX blush that currently exists, that kind of thing. I don't price up my sheet masks, so, and I don't price up these unless they have a, the, like the perfume samples, unless they have a 5ml or whatever written on them doesn't look like they do, so I probably won't be pricing them up as well. But yes, anything that I do price up, I will include and I'll do the calculator at the end. So the value that I'm going to give you is the value from January through to now. The top number, the large number, will be January like through to now, and then I'll do nows, and then I'll do like a total at the bottom. But just so that you know, because I stopped filming videos from like 
February, March, but I continued counting my empties. So, yes, that's what I'll do. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Thanks so much for watching, take care, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.